Yo, 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 sixty five hundred boogie was cracking, bro. This Claw TV, bro. What's up, bro? What's good, bro? Uh, we wanted to ask you a couple questions, bro. Your name been ringing on uh, you know, hotline and everything. We got a lot of people who referred you to us and everything like that. We wanted to know, was it okay if we can talk to you today, brother? Real, real quick. For sure, let's do it. Okay, okay. Uh, sixty five hundred boogie. Man, bro, uh, if you can, bro, for all the people who stuck under a rock or something, could you let them know what is 6,500 and where are you from, bro? 6,500, I'm from Inglewood, Chicago, and that's 65th for Wildcat. Right, and that name been ringing bells, you know, the 60, 65th. It, exactly in that area. What's in that area as far as 65th? Is it like GD? Is that like a GD area? Is that like a mixture of GDs and BDs, Boogie? It's a mixture of GDs and big ass. A mixture of both of them type shit. But mostly GDs type shit. Okay, okay. So basically your block is basically like a GD block. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mixture of shit. Okay, okay. okay. Well, we see you've been working, bro. Uh, two months ago, you dropping, you dropped Vibe, bro. Uh, what did you... What made you drop that? Was you, you know, angry at some? Was you angry at the world or something? Because you went nuts on that, brother. Or you say vibe? Yeah, you dropped that two two months ago. Yeah, man, I was just oh, shit. I was just shit. Let motherfuckers know what's going on at the time, you know. Right. I was on some. I was on some different shit right there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and I see, uh, you know, four months later, you dropped, uh, <clears throat> four months later, you, you dropped, uh, How I Go. Uh, what that was, how, how, that? I, how I Feel. Oh, yeah, How I Feel. Yeah, you dropped How I Feel and four oh, months yeah. ago. I, I was fresh off the bed with that one. I had to let my motherfuckers know what, what the fuck really was doing. I was fresh off the bed, shit. Let the motherfuckers know how I felt, you know? Right, you shot that with a AMF visuals. Yeah, that's my boy AMF. Okay, yeah, yeah, I checked it out, man. I seen you in in the brown jacket and everything going nuts, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying to make this shit make sense. I mean, you got a nice little catalog, you know. You got another joint filling in the air. You know, you you got you got a nice little catalog, bro. Uh, is sixty five hundred money affiliated with you, bro? Yeah, that's my brother. Okay, okay, because I seen a couple think joints from him too. I was just trying to put it together, put two and two together. Oh uh, yeah, we from the same block. Okay, all right. Okay, man. Uh, recently, man, we know that you, you know, you on sixty fifth. Uh, you we know that old block is right down the, you know, right down the way from you guys. Probably what's that one block over from you? Uh, yeah. Hell no, they like all the way across the town. Okay, so y'all, what's Obla? Ain't that 64th and uh, King Drive, right? Yeah, they all the way across town. We West Inglewood. They all the way by King Drive, type of shit. Okay, but is it still the same? They on 64th, you on 65th type deal, but they across town on 64th, basically. Yeah, type shit. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how did you feel about uh, the Obla? O Block 5 getting, you know, uh, they caught him on camera, basically. It went viral. A lot of people seeing him, you know, running down the stairs like a pack of hound dogs uh, trying to get to FBG Duck. How did you feel when that, you know, came out and you seen those rumors and you seen, you know, Muwap and everybody get charged for it? Like, was you shocked or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. That shit go on airway, man. That shit go on airway. It's just everything ain't getting broadcast as much, you know? Right. That shit, that shit just happened. I don't want to make situations. I don't know how to say, you know? Right. That shit go on. That shit go on all over the city, man. Okay. Okay. And uh, we also know that you got a big, you know, reference. A lot of people referred you. We even had a brother uh, refer you by the name of Bali Fest. Uh, how did y'all connect, you and Bali Fest? Oh, Bali. Yeah, Bali. Oh, that's my boy. We grew up together. That's my brother, you know. He's from, he's third game. Right. That's my boy. Yeah, that's, 
Yeah, we on the same shit. You know, that's my brother. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I interviewed a lot got, of the third gang got members. Shit cooking up, coming out. Man. That shit gonna be like a one or two, man. We got some shit cooking up. Are y'all dropping the mixtape? Hey, do you work with DJs or anything like that, brother? I ain't been, I ain't been able to tune in that much with them, though, since you know I dropped that pop, baby. I put Pop Baby out there, shit. That's for the best. Yeah, I seen that, bro. I seen that. You wasn't done talking that shit. I seen it, bro. I, I put that Pop Baby. I want all the hoes on their neck, man. I dropped that shit. I'm trying to just, I'm trying to show that ass. I can go every flow for that, man. Yeah. Sell it in the bag, everything. You can run whole life, nigga. You know that. Shit. Everything real, man. So, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want to rap about shit that I ain't doing. Everything I'm rap about, I'm doing. So, that's why this shit come how it's coming, shit. It might take me a minute to get there because I ain't dick right. Right, bro. That's why we reached out to you. You know, uh, you don't know us from a can of paint. <laughs> For sure. But uh, like I said, we monetized and we, you know, interview a lot of Chicago rappers. Like, you know, we got a nice little fan base. A lot of people tune in and watch our videos daily all through the day. So, uh, Oh, yeah. For sure. I'm watching y'all too, shit. Man, we appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. We just did a couple interviews with a lot of people from Third Gang and Red Tape. Uh, we did interviews with, you know, BCR Money, uh, Big T Up Next. We did interviews with a lot of people. And we just, you know, building the catalog. And we adding you to the catalog. Hopefully, you know, we can get, you know, you on an interview, just like a catching up, you know, how you on here every other week, just catching up with you. It was, you know, giving us the temperature on Chicago and everything. For sure, man. Okay, bro. And, uh. Like I said, I know you be, you know, rapping and everything, but we got some fans on here. We got 500 people watching, bro. If you can, uh, can you spit a little 10 bars for us, bro? Just let us see how you coming. <laughs> you say you want me to spit something Yeah, man. It don't matter if you wrote it or freestyle it. Just give us a little taste, say, you know. I say, we was just on a block point drink. I'll get money, I don't know what they think. We roll up on the Zell like the rings. What them up, we ain't playing no pranks. For them niggas, I get on your ass. He be lying if he said I ain't sly. A lot of niggas be bitches inside. A lot of niggas be bitches disguised. And bitch, I'm gonna go to your city. They know I be Lady Island like a rock star. Hmm. And I'm driving this for like a hot car. Huh. And my OG. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, bro, I felt your drift, bro. What you say, buddy? I couldn't hear you, bro. You was breaking up. Bro, I felt your drift, brother. <laughs> You want nothing, yeah, bro. Yo, drug, brother. That's some shit coming out, man. I got some. I got a lot of shit coming though, man. This shit gonna. This shit gonna start. Right. I'm sorry. And for the fans, bro, if you can, bro, before we get out this thing, could you tell the you know fans how it was growing up on your block? You know, just how was it your childhood? Did you have a good childhood, or was it just always yeah. gang violence? And you know, what, like, what was it like growing up? I mean, shit, it wasn't. It was always gang battles. A lot of those shit growing up. It was just like we would just see it. We was we was fighting a lot, shit like that. Most of you be playing football, basketball. All that type of shit, but as we got older, shit started getting real. My first started dying and going to jail, catching cases. Right. You know? Right. And what high school did you go to, uh, Boogie? I went to Harper High School. Harper and YCLA type shit. Oh, uh, okay. Was the high school, was it Was it a lot of gang violence in the high school? Because we hear about CVS, we hear about Corliss, we hear about Harvey and Julian, we hear about Dunbar, but was it your school, bro? Was it a lot of gang violence going on there? Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of gang violence. It was about six, seven gangs in one school type shit. Like everybody walking through the hall shaking up type deal? Oh, hell yeah, everybody walking through the hall shaking up, ditching, leaving that bitch early, fighting. When they get out of school, everybody walking to their blocks, meeting up on busy streets, fighting. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Could you give us a uh, one of your most worst experiences in Chicago? Uh, one of my most like, worst experiences. Like as, far, like as far as, like, you know, a shootout or anything like that. Like, what's your worst yeah, experience? Yeah, one of my homies got some more weed with young as hell. You know I was right there. I seen that shit right there. It was right there to the end of that shit. Right. 
Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace to your homie, bro. Yeah, yeah, that shit was... That shit, so I'm so numb to that shit. That shit going on forever, man. It's like a chain reaction. I got to change that bitch. Right. Now, Boogie, man, when it comes to this rap stuff, man, is you is this just something to do, or is you really looking to make a career out of this, bro? Because I believe in you. Cloud TV, we believe in you, bro. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to make it somewhere. It's just, like I said, you know, motherfuckers, it might take a minute to get there because I ain't going to dick ride. It's going to take a minute to get there, but for sure, once that, it, all it takes is one song, one person to hear you, one person to look at you, one person to do anything. And you in the dope. Right. Hey Boogie, uh drop some of your favorite Chirac rappers right now. Who would you who is you willing to work with, bro? Who I'm willing to work with in Iraq right now. Mm. It's a lot of motherfuckers, but you know the only I'm 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 Drop I'm, drop at least one person, brother. You know I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something with my boy. I'm gonna do something with my boy Bobby shit. I got I'm trying to get on some shit with a couple more motherfuckers, but yeah, I'm on I'm all hood gang shit. I mean, if you ain't if you got shit going on with niggas who be fuck with niggas, I don't do that. So, you know. Right, but as far as the big rappers, as far as like Ruga or Lil Durk or Kanye West or you know Chance the Rapper, King Louie, like the big rappers, not the the hood rappers. Like who would you who? Yeah, not the hood rappers, the big rappers. You know anybody from Chicago, R. Kelly, you know uh, Twister, anybody you think of from Chicago, Crucial Conflict, anybody like which. Who would you do something with? From, even you, you know Soldier Boy from Chicago, really too. So who who would you pick, brother? Chicago rappers, man. I'm trying to see, man. Who I do something with, man? Oh fuck, man. See, motherfucker, I want to get on a song with Dead, man. That's Juice World, man. Lonely a Juice World, man. Lonely a Juice. Lonely a Juice World, man. But shit, I get on a song. I try to get up there with motherfucking. I don't even know. You know that's that's a hard pick. Did you say, hard you, pick. Let me let me throw some out there for you. Uh, G Herbo. Yeah, I, yeah, I do something with her. He come, he come for a motherfucker. He, I got that, you know, got that low flat for that feature. Okay. Uh, what about Ruga, Mister GD's in the door. <laughs> no man, I don't know about that man. Okay. What about Chief Keith? But I'll do something with Sosa. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something with Sosa, man. I have four hours in the ball before we left. Okay, okay. All right, man. Right now, what's your favorite show? We had a comment on, on the live, bro. They want to know what's your favorite show between Power and Empire, bro. Everybody know what that should be. I, I'm going to say Power. Yeah. Even, it's Power, but it's crazy. I don't even watch TV, man. That shit is a distraction, man. I don't even watch TV. Right. I, I can't tell you the last show, the last episode, the last thing that happened in Power. I don't even watch this shit. Right. Yeah, boys. You a real street one, man. Oh, man, TV, man. Hey Boogie, bro! I like that the outfit you had on and uh, fill it in the air. The all brown outfit with the, I think those some white forces and a fitty cap. You was holding the money, sitting on like some stairs. Yeah, that's 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 the pillars outfit, man. That's some little pillars giddy up. Ooh. Okay, okay, man, bro. This interview was lit with you, Boogie, man. We gonna have to bring you back, bro. For sure, man. We gotta catch you when I'm around for them. You know, we can talk a little more. You know, get into this shit a little more. I'm definitely get out something. To, you know, get out something to look at. I might drop an audio tonight just because this shit got me gonna go crazy. Hey, Boogie, man. I know you don't watch TV, bro, but I gotta ask you this question. What's up? Man? You know, it's 2022, bro. I gotta ask it. Uh, What's up with the Super Bowl, man? You you, you ain't oh, tuning in, man. You ain't going going for nobody, you know. No, no man, I was I was, you know I'm listening to my old man play this draft king shit. I don't really I don't really get into that shit no more. We no sports. I don't play sports no more. I don't watch like, that shit like, like that. Like did you at least hit a, hear about it? At least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure I was hearing about it. For sure I was hearing. I heard a lot of motherfuckers was betting their money on the bees and lost their shit to the rim. That's all I was hearing. I really wasn't paying too much attention because I don't I don't fuck with it. I ain't I ain't into that shit. 
Yeah, man, they said this was the biggest one ever, bro. You know, I just had to throw that out there because a lot of fans, they, you know, we got a lot of subscribers from that because I was streaming it and I pulled in a lot of subscribers, so I had to ask that. But, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. I see your shit going up. Yeah, man, we need some new music, bro. You got to draw something for us, man. Like, seriously. For sure. I you know, we're going to have to put it on Cloud TV because we can get some views off that thing, you know? The show we got, I got some shit coming, man. Like two weeks, two weeks. Give me two weeks. Okay, okay. Well, man, like I said, bro, shit, it was nice chopping it up for you, brother. Uh, if you can, bro. If you can, could you uh, shout out Cloud TV one time and drop yeah, your shout out, shout out Cloud TV, man. Follow me on Instagram. I am Melly65. Go, go. Let's get it, bro. Uh, bro, you could, might as well text me your Facebook when we get done, bro. Uh, send me your Facebook, bro. We gonna run it up, bro. I appreciate this interview. You a cool one. We gonna bring you back probably in another week or two, bro. All right, for sure. All right, bro. You already know what it is, man. It's Cloud TV, and we out of this thing. Gang. Go. Right.